Let's learn about one of the logical functions, if. Let's say we would like Excel to return a certain piece of information or return something if something is true, and if it's not, then we want it to display something different. So this is this can be achieved using the if function, which is a logical function. So I'm going to type in here equals, and what you're trying to do here is to find out if the employee actually made a salary of more than 12,000 rupees in the month of December, let's say. So I'm going to say if I'm going to choose December's Rahul's salary, if this is greater than 12,000 comma, then we would say above. Otherwise, we would like it to say below, let's say. So I'm going to close it and I can copy this to the other cells. And you can see here that only Rahul and this is, let me scroll again, this is Anjali. So these are the two employees who actually have about 12,000 rupees salary in December. And this was done, as we look at closely what this function is about, you have to provide a specific logical test or, or something that we can say this is true or not. And then if the value is true, then we would, in this case, we, would, we said we needed to return the value above this text. And then if it's false, we said we wanted to return below. And that's why the employees where the the amount was greater than 12,000, we got the above value, otherwise it was below. So now it is, doesn't have to be just text information. If you are putting in text information, you need to put it between the double quotes, but you can also put a number here. For example, let me say one if it's above and zero if it's below. So then I don't need to put double quotes, hit enter, and you can see here that it returns the value one and it's keeping this currency format, but you can quickly change that and say, I don't need the currency format. So this is a quick way of checking a specific condition and returning a different value if it is true and something else if it's false. And this is something which you'll probably use very, very frequently uh, when you deal with data in Excel. And this operator that we used here to do this logical test you can do it with less than, you can do less than equals, you can do not equals. So this is something that you can choose to use different operators to do some kind of logical test, which returns a value true or false. And in such cases, if is a great function to use. In this case, we used a number in our comparison or the logical test. We can also use text information. So let's say I want to compare this specific cell here with the name of the employee, if that is equals, let's say the dot space Rahul and comma, let's say I wanted to display, if that value is true, I wanted to display, let's say, yes. And if it is not true, I wanted to display no. And again, you can use numbers here as the returning values. It doesn't ma mean that you have to use text all the way. You can use different combinations, but basically the value, if it is true, this will be returned. If the value is false, this will be returned. And if it is a text information that you want to display, please use the double quotes before and after. If it's a number, you can just type in the number. So let's test again. And now this one says yes. And that's because it the name matched. But let's say if it is without a space, and now it says no. So this is a very, very convenient way of checking some conditions and displaying different values based on the condition, whether it's true or not.